Here in Denver, protesters rallied in Civic Center Park against supervised injection sites. In November, the city council approved a pilot program. It would provide a place for drug users to shoot up with medical supervision. CBS 4's Rick Salinger was at that rally. Rick, we know strong opinions on both sides. And especially within one family, Jim. The son, a former drug user, clean for several years now. But the father, well, he was one of those out here against it. My son is a recovering heroin addict. Mustafa Ahmad was among the protesters carrying signs like safe injection sites are death traps. We asked him if we could speak to his son and see if he felt the same way. It turns out that son, Kyle, has just the opposite opinion. I think it would have helped. You know, I don't think I know it would have helped. If these existed when my son was doing this, he wouldn't have just snorted it or smoked heroin. He would have injected it. It would have provoked me to see treat, seek treatment. The sites are already in effect in other cities like Vancouver, Canada. There, people can bring illegal drugs in and inject them under medical supervision in case of an overdose. I think safe injection sites are the first step to really tackling the issue of the opiate epidemic. To kill them, it's to enable them to keep doing this drug of heroin. And it's a horrible, horrible drug. It destroys families. He says his son Kyle attended Brown University, was active in politics and was going to teach, but threw it away due to heroin. Now, he happily works for a flooring company and trying to convince his father he is right. This is where I'm coming from as your son. Even though the Denver City Council passed an ordinance that would legalize safe injection sites, the state legislature must still give its okay. Live in Civic Center Park, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Rick.